road trip to the south coast, let's have it. Stinger on. about it Tuesday thinking you know let's start looking at uh, going down on a stingray session and uh, we weren't really expecting to go this weekend but we had a look at the weather and the wind and we thought yeah it's looking good let's just get down there so we booked the Friday off from work and now we're on our way down we ordered fresh dug rag we got eight pound in weight of rag so we got some serious rag worm to chuck out there on the weekend now and um we're looking to hopefully catch a target species of stingray but in between hopefully a few smooth bones um, and anything else scratching small bass maybe some bream who knows what we're gonna catch but uh, yeah target is stingray um, we're gonna be fishing six rods two main rods and two smaller rods bass rods uh, flicked in close. Well, all our rods are going to be in close, really, because you don't really need to cast that far for the stingrays. But uh, yeah, well, various distances, one really close and two around mid range. And uh, yeah, hopefully, it's going to be a good weekend. Right, here we are. Just trekking out onto the mark. Can't wait. Nice to get out of Barry get onto something different. Just gives you that angling burst back when you go somewhere different. <sighs> Loves a little trip away. Mate, you set me right up here, <laughs> haven't you? You up to your knees, eh? Mate, the cut. My feet are coming up my weeders. Yeah, I love going on. Get your box off. Fucking help me. Get me up here now. <laughs> A few moments later. Well, I guess you won't go our way, mate. Mate, come on. Yeah, you set me up here. I don't think we'll go our way. Oh. We'll try a different way. Alright, guys. Yeah, so we've uh, been down here around five hours now. Um, it wasn't looking good. Um, Curtis Miller, he managed to pull out some dogfish and some uh, small bass. But um, I was having a nightmare, but I decided to move and first cast on my bass rod. I got uh, any fish anywhere, bass uh, Pro Mark 1. Flicked the ragworm out on that, and um, all of a sudden, rod went over, a bit of line out, and it's uh, a bit, little bit of a fight. And I brought in this lovely stingray. It's uh, the first one of the session. And um, hopefully more to come. Um, yeah, so we're going to give it away now. It looks around 10 to 12 pounds. And um, we'll get her back to fight another day. Cheers all. Nice, we just weighed her now. 14 pound on the nose. So that's a PB for me. Happy days. Well in, mate. Oh, he'd have you end, didn't she? Straight away. Happy days, mate. Yeah, boy. <laughs> Fuzzy. Forward. Starting to pick up a little bit. Not, not great, but 
stand to get a couple more fish out. Um, just brought in another cast and a uh, little school bass. Be nice if it was a bit bigger, but big or small, we love them all. Alright, let's get you back. Another stinger, mate? Yeah. yeah. Hey! Happy days! Well, in me. Second one of the day, no? A little bit smaller. But, uh, yeah, that's the second one. Happy days, man. He's on the ball! Sakuma top guns are they? Which are doing well. You want small hooks but strong hooks. Small, small enough that they fit in the stingray's mouth, but strong enough that they'll bring a big fish in. And a worm, nice fresh dug. Southampton rag. All right, nice big worms like that. And all I've been doing today is threading the one worm on. Baits weren't lasting more than about 10 minutes before you had to reel back in. And, uh, when he was reeling back in, there was uh, no, no worm left on the hooks, but uh, towards the top of the tide, the uh, worm started staying on a bit longer. So, just something to keep an eye on if you do come down the south coast is uh, start off bringing your rigs in every sort of 10 minutes. If the worm's stripped, you can have to bring it in every 10 minutes, but if it's still on there, you can leave it a bit longer. You can always have uh, a stopper to stop the uh, worm riding up the hook when uh, the fish start biting or when you cast or whatever. But yeah. And that's what we've been using today on uh, six ounce leads. Nothing too fancy. See, I'll cast that up now. If I don't get a bite after about 15 20 minutes, I'll be bringing it back in. Put another fresh bait on the top. Yeah. You've got to source some. If you do come down, you've got to get quality rag worm. You can't just get the farm rag or anything like that. Um, I know Daniel Crump in Alton Road, he can get um, some fresh rag delivered to his shop. Uh, you can get it that way. 
or you can come down uh, the south coast itself and buy it down there. But um, yeah, definitely get good quality ragwood. I don't know if shorter pulleys are working better than longer pulleys, but um, I just decided to um, use the shorter ones today. And uh, yeah, they are working. So, um, happy days. We've still got about an hour before I tide, and then we're going to fish the full drop, full flood, full drop again. And then it's time to go home then. So uh, plenty more to come, hopefully. Um, I'm hoping when it comes dark now, we're going to start getting some smooth outs. We haven't um, had no smooth outs yet. But they do like a darkness around here. So I'm hoping when it turns dark now, we're going to get some smooth outs as well. So uh, fingers crossed for some more nice fish. Right, let's get another cast out. Another school bash. Yeah. Another school nice one, Kurt. Well, five, yeah. Keeps the account ticking over, doesn't it? Lovely. Nice, mate. Yeah, it's happy days. I just, uh, just, just gone dark now. I just uh, recycled all my baits, got some fresh ragworm out and um, because watching my rods and all of a sudden my uh, tip went over, ratchet started screaming and to be fair I thought it was a hound and, um, but it ended up it was another stingray so that's three stingrays now for me um, I just hope now we can get Curtis one so we can uh, make the trip worthwhile for both of us but at the moment I'm top gun catching them all at the moment this one looks around 11 pounds, 12 pounds maybe but um, who knows right, time to get another bait out see if we can get another one Yeah, I got some catching to do. Yeah, you are, boy. <laughs> nice bass, mate. What do you reckon? About two pounds? Two pounds. Well deserved fish, though, mate. I am absolutely happy. I know, mate. You've been working your socks off, haven't you, mate? I even had, went and had a kip. Curtis was still fishing. He's dying for that stingray, but uh, oh, still got a few hours left, yeah, mate. Well, but at least you've had a nice little bass, and you've had loads of dogs, haven't you? Loads of school bass, eels, all sorts. Just can't get that stingray. But soldier on, mate. Keep trying, and we'll get him. You can do chucking back in here, yeah? Yeah. 
away he goes. Charlie something. This guy here, he fished for 24 hours watching me catch three stingrays and he was gutted that he thought he was going to go on without one and he's just reeled in his last cast now and he's pulled in this eight and a half pound stingray. Well done mate. I, mean, I can't believe it honestly. Well done. Didn't think I was going to oh, happen. Well that's, uh, that's basically the end of the trip now. We're both going to go home happy now and uh, Curtis has just had his first stingray ever, so happy days, can't fault it. You were wrong, didn't you? Well, well, I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know about that.